Hey, what's up? It's Jared with State of Tech, and today is iOS 10 launch day. And what that means is that it's time for us to update our devices if you're ready. Now, a word of caution before you decide to update your device to the latest version of iOS. Uh, you know, not all apps are ready and not everything is ready for iOS 10. So sometimes it's not the best option to update your device right away. Uh, depending on the apps that you use, you want to make sure that they are ready to go with iOS 10. If there are any apps that you have on your phone that are a must have, make sure that they're compatible first with iOS 10 before you do your update on your phone. Otherwise, you may not be able to use those apps until those developers are ready. Uh, for example, I have the, uh, the Kivo lock at my house that you can you know, just tap the lock and if your phone is nearby, uh, it recognizes you and it unlocks your door. And they released a statement saying that there's limited functionality available uh, with, their, with their service, with their app, uh, as they continue to, you know, update and get ready for iOS 10 rollout. So they, you know, warned us basically saying, don't update to iOS 10 if you want to continue using uh, the full functionality of their, of their device. And that they're not the only ones. There are lots of other uh, situations out there where you may have a, like a home services device or something that you're going to want to continue to use. And if you don't, uh, if you don't check to make sure that there's compatibility, you may end up not being able to use it. So with that said, let's go through the process of updating to iOS 10. Now, the first thing that I want all of you to do is do a backup. And that means going into your settings, scrolling down to iCloud, go down to backup. And then even though it says, if it says your light, like my latest backup was 4.30 a.m., I'm going to go ahead and run a backup anyways, because I did run some app updates and it just, I used my phone a little bit this morning, got a few text messages. So I want to perform a backup and it should only take a couple of minutes. Uh, if you uh, want to know more about setting up iCloud or doing an iTunes backup, make sure to check out last week's video. We'll throw a card up that you can click on and put a link in the description below for you uh, so that you can make sure that you have either iCloud backup running or you're, you're backing up to your computer using iTunes. All right, so let's fast forward here to this backup being completed. All right, so now that our backup is complete, you need to go into General, go to Software Update, and then it will show the iOS 10 software update right here. You will need to scroll down, tap on download and install, put in your pin code or your password, whatever you have uh, to verify your phone with, tap on agree, and it's going to request the update and begin downloading, downloading the software update. Now this could take a little bit of time depending on your internet connection. You most likely will want to be connected to Wi-Fi because this is a one gigabyte file. It's a pretty good size file and you're, you're going to want to be connected to Wi-Fi. Um, I don't even know if it'll let you use your data for that. So downloading for me is going to take about four or five minutes. So we'll be right back with the install process. All right. So after the download finishes, it will start to process and then you will get a notification that says ready to install or remind me later. If you tap ready to install, it will install or it will also count down from 10 seconds and install for you. If you chose install later or remind me later, tap install now back on this screen and it will begin verifying the update and starting the installation process. Unless you have a phone that's fully charged, I highly recommend plugging into a charger during this process, uh, especially if you have you know, battery life less, less than 50%. Uh, really low battery life, the phone won't even let you run the update unless you plug in. All right, so we're going to go ahead and let it go through the install and update process and then jump right back in here. All right, so my update's complete, so I'm going to go ahead and enter in my password. And that was it. Update is complete, iOS 10. Let's go ahead and just look at our notifications. We've got, you know, obviously some slight differences here. Um, we'll be back with a full kind of overview of iOS 10 just to kind of show you what to expect and what's different here. As you can see, we've got 10.0.1 installed and uh, we're, we're good to go. So we'll be back soon with some tips. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get notified when those videos come out. 
here on State of Tech. Uh, iPhone Tuesdays is when we release uh, tips and tricks on iPhone. And of course, we have other videos throughout the week as well. So make sure to subscribe to be notified. Thanks a lot.